by now there's nothing more for me to say. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. That's why I'm gonna fight too. I will fight the only way I can. I'm gonna show that guy my fearsome retaliation. That's basically it. So if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the spear. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Other possibilities? Huh. If something other than the spear killed Nagito, all I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but... That was definitely a gruesome wound, but it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? Hmm. If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds... Hmm. Are we finished already? I feel like... It's possible that we overlook something. Then let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly! We should cooperate at a time like this. Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? It's not the other wounds, right? With all those wounds... Maybe he simply bled to death. There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? If it's something that can't be seen... Maybe he choked himself with a sleeper hole. Or liquefied his guts with a body blow. Just thinking about it, that's already a horrible death. Let us consider a di It's not the knife in his- It's not the other wound! With all those wounds, maybe he simply bled to death. There's no way he burnt with the cause of death something that cannot be seen. Crap! Let us consider a di It's not the knife in his- It's not the other wound! With all those wounds, maybe he simply- There's no way! Was the cause of death something that- If it's something that can't be seen... Maybe he choked himself with a sleeper hole. Crap! Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his- It's not the other wound! With all those wounds, maybe he simply- There's no way! Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? If it's something that can't be seen, maybe he choked himself with or liquefied his gut. Just thinking about it, that's already a horrible death. Let us consider a It's not the knife in his it's not the other wound. With all those wounds, maybe he simply There's no way was a cause of death something that can I agree with that. That's it. I totally forgot about that possibility. If the cause of death was something we can't see, then we have to consider poison as a possible method. Poison? It is true that poison is not something we can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? I remember. When I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. If poison was the cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Makito's body. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. What is that? Mean? But, even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Did, did he wound his body just to...
camouflage them? That's also a possibility. But still, both of Nagito's hands were full. So how would he drink poison? His left hand was tied up and gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. If it was a slow acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. No, the warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. And this is when the hard tail appears! You're totally overvaluing that tail! His mouth was covered with duct tape. If he wanted to drink poison, how'd he get it past his lips? If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Just kidding. It's not like we're out of possibilities yet. Are there any left? Hell no! No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear! Since we've already ruled out so many possibilities, it might be easier to think about what really killed him. Operation Elimination Method! The hint should be written on the poison's warning label. Maybe.
it's all coming together! What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Inhaled? It's written on the poison's warning label. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas! Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose! Breathe that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? I see! The sprinkler's in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. The poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? Well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. The chemical bonds that formed the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers! Also, the poison is apparently denser than air, so it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. But Nakuto was lying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it, huh? If it meets the requirements that well, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Yeah, the true cause of Nagito's death was poison. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but... So what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then enough already! Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. All right. All the mysteries should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? Uh, well, but... What? There's still more? Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. been an accomplice. Ch Chiaki? What did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. I see! Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? Yeah. If Nagito brought it, it's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere, right? He can't carry around poison without putting it in a container? Yeah, that was written on the warning label. The container probably melted in the fire. It's probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it'd completely incinerate. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Then, does that mean someone got rid of the container? So that's why you mentioned an accomplice! <laughs> that is impossible! I mean... An accomplice? It is just too... Like... Does that really matter all that much? I mean, even if he had an accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. You're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Ah, oh, you're right! You're totally right! That's totally it! Right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? I'm not in the mood for unexpected twists. That 
That's no good. Huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us. By calling this Nagito suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hopes. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. Still, that's pretty messed up. Shut up! You just be quiet. I, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Uh, even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. <laughs> Grenades. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. He used one of the fire grenade canisters? Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Bastard. He totally knew we were gonna throw those fire grenades. Which means... Did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? The, that is true, but... There was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? Hajime, could it be? If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible! Miss Sonia just said so right now! Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? I can prove it with this! Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? 
That's just a piece of trash. N no, that is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. He also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? It's a dangerous poison, after all. He took extreme caution when swapping it. So, what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in and died, right? So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide! Enough already! Y you're right. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. See, I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. You, you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? Is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. Jockey? I'm sorry, but I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? It probably happened at the same time. I see! Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. When we all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse, the poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. If... if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us. What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... What did it mean? He didn't kill himself. You said so yourself! You said Nagito committed suicide! The, then who killed Nagito? You mean, who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. And who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? I see! That was also Nagito. Hey, how many times are you gonna ask the same damn question? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? I see! Don't tell me, he... He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why'd he do that? It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison. Creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. S seriously I'm asking you who threw it. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Huh? C could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. And for that reason... He put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. What? 
What the hell? Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison, and then... Whoa, hold, hold on! If that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death! It might be the poison's fault we let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so, the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! Are you fucking serious? That was his trap all along. Even the wounds all over his body, it was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces. For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you. As expected, a... That's totally messed up. That's so fucked up. It is my fault, because I told you all about the fire grenades. I... I am so sorry! Please vote me as a killer! That's not the fucking issue here! It's not Miss Sonia's fault! This is all Nagito's doing! But... what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. Impossible? Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we couldn't make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. Huh. However, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? That's right! There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras! If Monokuma doesn't know, his trial doesn't count! Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times! I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya! And one of those visits seemed to take a while. <laughs> Please stop! I will never become clean! How can you... You're so chill. I mean, how can you have such an awful power? So, of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is! Yes, he says. <laughs> How the hell are we supposed to do that? Is giving up all we can do? No, it's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably... There's one way, I think. Really? Hey, is it alright if we look at Nagito's crime one more time from the beginning? I want to make sure my hunch is correct. Hajime, please. Got it. Let's do this then.
thing that happened in this case. The person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base, Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence, the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade, took it with him to the factory, and put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nezumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its cord. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, he stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Finally. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. The panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. 
That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity. This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Uh, um... Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? <laughs> you say we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is... probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito... really not care who the killer was? He said this to us earlier. Belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. Damn it! believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. I guess the last thing he believed in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. But, in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought... It was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. He factored in his belief in us. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. No, there's no way. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about. Wh what did he do? No, he wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student. And incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean... he left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? I see! That's it? 
The traitor? Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then... What he said in his video message... true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? The only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? Would it have... stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But... they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it, because... they weren't created to do that. Ch Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! That's why... I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah. I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the Future Foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? Who do you think? is the traitor. Hajime, please. It's... you? Chiaki, you're the traitor? Please! Hold on! Ah, you totally guessed right. Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. I'm the traitor. The agent sent by the Future Foundation to hide among you all... is me. Hey, Chiaki. Are you being serious right now? Ch chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Hey! What are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? You... Up to now... You've been tricking us? What? We were not tricked! After all, we have been working together all this time! We have been helping each other all this time! Chiaki, being a traitor, being a member of that horrifying future foundation... That is obviously a lie! Please! Wait! The Future Foundation isn't what you think it is! Shut the fuck up! We're talking to Chiaki! No. I have nothing more to say. Why? 
Because we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do is vote. H hold on! We're not satisfied yet! If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. We cannot vote until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. Hey, if you're really the traitor, why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself? It's weird, isn't it? Waiting until right now to out yourself. It's definitely strange, right? Or rather, why was I able to do that? Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Hey, Hajime. Can you do me a small favor? Favor? Me? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. What? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. That's why... The only thing I can do is plead with you. I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you. I... There's no way I can do that. I'm very sorry, but this is the only way. So please... <laughs> Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. If she was just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... She's not disguised at all! Cause... Chiaki isn't the traitor! Monami? <laughs> Too bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. I don't know anything about that girl at all! Hey, are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck! I've always been alone. I have no friends anywhere. That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Hajime, you're going to listen to my request, right? Ch Chiaki isn't my friend. I hate Chiaki so much. Get along. First, open and miss. I can't lose. Hajime, you stupid face. Let's all get along. I won't let you. Let's all get along. First, open and miss. I 
first open and mix! I can't lose! Hugging you, you stupid face! I won't let you! First open and mix! I'll lower your grade! Disappear! Hugging me, you stupid face! Let's all get along! I'll lower your grade! Hugging me, you stupid face! I investigated Nagito's cottage. I discovered a notebook with the new Sami logo on it. That's your notebook, right? The one Nagito stole from you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't tell me. Is that where the traitor's true identity is written? That's right! Since I knew something like this would happen, I made sure to bring it here today. Oh, so sudden? Give me that notebook! Is the traitor's identity written in here? Nagito was probably looking for that too. So that might be why he stole the notebook. But you wouldn't know who the traitor is just by reading this notebook. Of course, Nagito wouldn't know either. However, it's different for me. You know? It took me this long, but I finally understand. First of all, this isn't Monami's diary. Apparently she can't write. Then the one who wrote this is... Someone connected to Monami. Meaning, it's not a mistake to think that the traitor wrote it. If so, is this like a report that the traitor was sending to Monami? Is it evidence that they were observing our actions and reporting to Monami? But how would you know who the traitor is from that? Because there's an entry written in here that only me and one other person would know. In the notebook, there was a specific entry. There it is. It's true. I tried to go inside the final dead room, but the only one who knew that... That's right. 
The only person who knew that is Chiaki. That's why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. I mean, if Chiaki is the traitor, what was all that time we spent with her? Was that all a lie too? Miss Sonia. Chiaki is... She is being controlled by Monokuma. That is why we should help her. I I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. Now that you mention it, Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the traitor's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A traitor would be more cautious than that. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. That's why she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. She... she knew? That is a mistake! That must be a mistake! Why are you saying such things? Do you really want Chiaki to be the traitor? Of course not! I will not believe it! I refuse to believe Chiaki is a traitor! There is... just no way! But... then nobody will be saved! Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the bomb, didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious! There's no way Chiaki would have known! If that bomb was fake or not! The only person who knew it was me when I tried to detonate it! Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the box, didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious! There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not! The only person who knew it was a fake was me when I tried to detonate it! Unless you know a whole lot about bombs, there's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it. Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the bomb, didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious! There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not! The only person who knew me when I tried to detonate- Unless you know a whole lot about- There's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it! Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the- Didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious! Damn it! Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the bomb... Didn't- If she's a traitor, she There's no way she if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake one. Me. When I tried to... That's not it. That's not it. Sonia shouldn't have been the only one who knew it was a fake. Monami was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. Is that true? Miss Sonia? Chiaki heard about it from Monami. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because... If I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monami. I do not want to hear that! 
enough already. Please do not say another word. I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired of doubting people. Sonia. And just because she knew the bomb was a fake does not mean we should decide she is the traitor! <laughs> Even if she knew the bomb was fake. That does not prove Shaki is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Shaki is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too! After all, I also knew the bomb was fake! Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chucky is the traitor! If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too! After all, I also knew the bomb was fake! Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. There was someone other than me and Monami... ...who knew that bomb was fake! That someone is Monokuma! Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island! There was someone other than me and Monami... Who knew that bomb was fake? That someone is Monokuma! Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Monokuma probably told Chiaki that it was fake beforehand. You're right. Monokuma probably knew the bomb was a fake. But Monokuma shouldn't have told anyone either. times like this. You already know that. Uh, Hajime, are you going to believe Monokuma over Chiaki? That's not it. It's just, even if Chiaki is the traitor, is it really okay to vote for her? That basically just means we have to believe in Nagito's luck, right? That's not it. You're telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to entrust our lives to that bastard? There's no way I can believe in Nagito. I'm telling you, that's not it! We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. We have to believe in Chiaki. Huh? It doesn't matter who the traitor is. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe in the Chiaki who's been with us this whole time. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her. If we don't, nobody's going to be saved. Damn it. Hey, can you listen to me a little? There's nothing to be sad about, you know? Cause... This is different from what happened before. Unlike before, you guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. Are you telling us to believe in you? And sacrifice you? That is just too cruel! I'm sorry. Ch Chucky, Monami, I'm sorry too. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this. But still, I want to protect everyone by any means. And I'm happy that I'm able to do that. It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. 
However, I believe it's truly amazing that you were able to think like that. We could even call this a miracle. Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? I know. It's voting time, right? Hey, Chiaki. You don't have to worry. Believe in me and cast your vote. God damn it! Why did it end up like this? Congratulations, everyone. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. What? That is... I'm sorry. Cuz... Well? Um... <laughs> Why? Well? Stop! What are you doing? As they say, we 
shall die together! What'd you say? Huh? No, no! or does whatever, it doesn't matter to my army of 10 to the power of 60 strong! <laughs> There's no value in that life you're risking! So how about this? This overwhelming despair! Does it make you dizzy from excitement? What's this? <laughs> It's okay, Monami. Hmm? Well, let's believe in them. I... Right? Damn it. Um... Please listen! Like... This is bad. Special punishment! Special bleeding service! Huh? Hmm. Uh huh? <laughs> Sorry. That is. Hmm. <laughs> you guys. I'm sorry about so many things. I'm sorry for lying to you. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you to the very end. Just one last time, let me say something that makes me sound like a teacher. There's no need to be a hero. You don't have to force yourself just to make people acknowledge you. 
when you do that, you end up blaming yourself, blaming other people, and feeling jealous of everyone. But still, it doesn't have to be like that. Even if people don't acknowledge you, you just have to be someone that you can be proud of. Cause, you yourself are your biggest supporter. If you can learn to love yourself, that love will continue to support you for the rest of your life. Love, love! Bye, everyone. It's okay. A shining future will always be waiting for you. It's true. It's absolutely true. Cause... I know. Bye-bye! Please don't forget about your teacher! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time!
how unfortunate. Now then. Boy, right? I'm gonna do it! Thanks. Dumbass! Your new master for you, Hiko. Shut up. This is your leader's order. <laughs> What? <laughs> In the name of my family. Hajime! It's gonna be fine. Is this a trial ground? But why am I at a trial ground? It sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one from before. Um, by the way... Huh? 
Um, where did everyone go? Hmm? Everyone? <laughs> <laughs>